Hi, I'm Dr Pippa Watson and in this video I'll be examining Colin's hands. Colin has been complaining of cold hands consistent with the diagnosis of scleroderma. Is it okay if I examine your hands today Colin? Yeah of course. Thank you very much. So it's important to make sure your patient's comfortable and often having their hands on a pillow is a good way of doing this. So now I'm going to have a look at the hands. I've got the patient's hands panned down and I'm looking for any obvious deformity, swelling, muscle wasting or scars. I can see he's got this shiny waxy quality to his skin and I can also see that he's got some ulcers overlying his proximal interphalangeal joints. I'm looking particularly for evidence of vasculitis. There may be small ischemic lesions of, or inflammation of the nail bed. I'm also looking at the skin for thinning or thickening or bruising, a sign of long-term steroid use. Could you just turn your hands over for me, please, Colin? Thank you very much. So whilst the patient is turning their hands over, look for any problems with elbow and wrist movement. Sometimes skin thickening can interfere with elbow movements. I'm looking again at the nails for vasculitis and these little black specks that you can see on this finger particularly are suggestive of nail fold vasculitis. And I'm also looking for muscle wasting. I'm looking at the wrist to see if there's any sign of a scar and I'm also going to look in the skin creases to see if there's any sign of anemia. Given the history, you'll also need to look carefully for small ulcers of the fingertips due to poor circulation. These are often extremely painful. Look to see if there's any diffuse swelling of the fingers. What is the colour of the hands? Are they blue or white? Are there calcium deposits, calcinosis, in the skin? There may be other more widespread changes to the face, such as pinching, beaking of the nose and mouth. Skin may also appear smooth and waxy, and there may be telangiectasia. We're now going to feel the hands. So with the patient's hands still palm upwards, I'm going to start by feeling the peripheral pulses. So I'm doing this to assess medium vessel function. I'm also going to check the bulk of the thenar and hypothenar eminences. And I'm also going to assess for sensation. If I touch you on both sides there, Colin, does that feel normal? It does, yeah. Thank you. So could I ask you just to turn your hands back over for me? That's great. Thank you. So now just going to gently squeeze across the MCP joints. I'm just watching Colin's face. Can you just let me know if that's uncomfortable at all? Yeah, that's fine. That's OK. Thank you. And on the other side. That's OK, fine. that's great. So now I'm just going to bimanually palpate some of the MCP joints. Again, watching Colin's face. That's, that's fine. uncomfortable, no? And I'm also going to palpate the wrist. And then this is a good opportunity to run your arm up to check for skin tightness and any changes at the elbow. Thank you. There may also be some skin changes in late disease. So I'm just going to have a feel of your skin, Colin, if that's all right. Yeah, and as I feel this, it feels quite thick and it's quite difficult to pick it up. Um, struggling to pinch it, particularly as I get further down the arm. And that's very typical of scleroderma. I'm just going to look at capillary refill by squeezing the nail bed. Do the hands feel cold? Thank you. So I'm now going to assess movement in the hands. Could I start, Colin, by asking you just to extend your fingers if you're able? Okay. If patient isn't able to do this, is it because of problems with the joint? the tendons or neurological damage. And in Colin's case, it's because of his skin thickening, so I'm unable to extend the fingers as well. Are you able to make a fist like this to bury your fingers? Thank you, that's great. So consider if movement is limited by skin thickening rather than joint disease. We're now going to assess function. Could I ask you, Colin, just to squeeze my fingers if you perhaps turn your hands round again, that's great. Are you able to squeeze my fingers at all? And now just, if I could ask you to do that if you're able. Okay, so that's quite tricky for you, isn't it? Are you able to pinch, if I give you a finger, are you able to squeeze my finger? Thank you, that's great. This assesses power grip, which is really important in function. So could I ask you to pick up that coin for me, please? Thank you very much, that's great. 
So it's really useful to finish by testing function, so perhaps picking up a coin or doing up a button or holding a cup of tea or something. So thank you very much, Colin. Uh, that's the end of the examination for now. So to summarise, this patient has a waxy appearance to their skin with associated skin thickening. Colin's hands feel cold and there is delayed capillary refill. There are some small painful ulcers on the hand. Hand movements are restricted by skin thickening. The patient also has facial involvement with telangiectasia and beaking of the nose. The diagnosis is scleroderma.